Welcome to the Transform Your Life podcast. I'm your host, Cass Henry. I'm on a mission to help women live their best and happiest life. In order to do that, I believe we need to live with a lot less clutter in our homes and in our minds. So if this is you and you're looking to learn the best tips for transforming all areas of your life, then you have come to the right place. Thanks so much for being here. Now, let's get started. Hello, my friends. Welcome back to another episode of the Transform Your Life podcast. I'm so grateful that you're listening to another episode. This week, I wanted to share with you my framework, my signature framework for decluttering your life from the inside out. Now, I share this with the women that are a part of my new group coaching program called Worthy and Free, as well as I share it when I host workshops around decluttering your life from the inside out. Um, But specifically, we dive very deep into this inside Worthy and Free. And so I wanted to share this with you because in order to actually get long lasting results in your life, you do need to follow a framework such as this one, I believe wholeheartedly in this framework that I've created. And so I really want to share it with you and see if there's any takeaways that might be helpful for you. And so I believe that in order to get long lasting results, like I mentioned, the first step to doing it is you have to do an audit, an audit of whatever area it is that you're trying to work in. For Worthy and Free, we audit all areas of our lives. We audit health and body, our time, relationships, mind, heart, and emotions. We audit your home and environment, your career, your money and finances, and your growth and happiness. So this is the wheel of life. The first thing that we do when you join Worthy and Free is we do that audit so that you can figure out first where you are. And now if you are wanting to declutter your home, you would audit your home and figure out exactly where you are. Because if you don't know where you are, how are you supposed to actually change it? Because you wouldn't know what to change. Of course, you have a general idea of, okay, I'm experiencing something in my life that I don't want necessarily, whether it's a cluttered bedroom or an empty bank account or extra weight on your hips. So you know generally what you don't want anymore, but you don't know exactly what the specifics are, how you got there, what is what it is actually that you want, why you want it, and then the steps to get the lasting change. And so that's essentially what we do inside Worthy and Free, and that's what I'm inviting for you to do if you're wanting to create lasting change in your life. So what I would suggest is choose one area that you want to focus on for, let's say, the next 90 days and choose that area. And then the very first thing that you will do is you will audit. You'll figure out what I mentioned to my girls inside Worthy and Free is I say focus on the facts and feelings first when you're doing the audit. Figure out where you are, what are the facts around the situation. Let's say it's about your weight. Maybe you'll take it before after, uh, before photo. Maybe you will measure your, your body. Maybe you will step on the scale. Maybe you will just stand there looking in the mirror, maybe even butt naked, and just assessing your body and looking at your body and being like, okay, this is where we're at. This is how I feel about where we're at. And that's that's the audit. We're just taking stock of where we are. If it's your home, you're going to walk through your front door and you're going to assess all the areas that have clutter. And you're going to walk through as if it's the first time that you're actually entering your home. If it's your bank account, you're going to look at all the numbers that are in each bank account and you're going to assess. Take note of what's in there, what's not in there, where do you owe money, who owes you money, where where is money coming from each month and where is it going. Just doing full assessments, taking full audit of the area in which you want to change. The next step is figuring out how you got there. And this is gonna take a lot of honesty and introspection, but it's very, very, very important. Otherwise, if you just do, um, let's say you miraculously drop 20 pounds a month, which which is great, and I'm sure a lot of people do it. But if you don't know how you did it, then how do you do it again? Or how do you prevent yourself from gaining the weight again in the future? So you wanna know how you got to where you are. And so the first, in the first month of Worthy and Free, we do the audit, we figure out where you are and then how you get there. And we don't even figure out what what you want at all to begin with in the first month. And I encourage you not to do that as well. Just figure out facts and feelings and how you got there. In the next phase of the framework, it's called the vision. So the first 
the first pillar of my signature framework is audit. The second one is vision. And that's figuring out, okay, now that I know where I am, where do I want to go? And secondly, why do I want to go there? Because it's one thing to say, okay, I'm overweight. That's where I am. I want to lose weight. That's where I want to go. But losing weight isn't fun. Like no one actually wants to put in the extra work to lose the weight, to eat healthier, to work out. It's not easy um, to say the least. I mean, you could go and chop off a limb and there you go. You're like losing a bunch of weight right away, but no one wants to do that. And so knowing your why is super important because it's going to help you stay in the action like long-term and not just short-term or burn out or get this discouraged or distracted or, or give up. So in the next phase of the framework, it's creating a vision, a very, very, very strong vision to give you an idea of where it is exactly that you want to go to create a picture, a painting, or even a movie of where it is that you want to go so that you know what you're working towards. And then in the second part of the vision framework is to create a very strong and powerful why. Now, if, if service level why I want to lose weight because it's important because, you know, for health reasons. Well, that's not a very strong why. That's not a very compelling why. That that certainly wouldn't make me want to get up out of bed every morning. But if it's like, my kids are only going to be little for so long. And if I can't run around with them on in the backyard and play soccer with them and, and actually be active with them, I'm going to lose out on these younger years that I will never get back. And if I could drop that at any moment because of a heart attack, because I'm not taking care of my body, like whatever it is, the deeper you have to go, or rather the deeper that you go just in general, the better, because the stronger your why, the more likely you are to actually follow through on your vision. Making money is one thing, but if you know what exactly you're going to do with the money that you make, then that's a whole other thing. And you're a lot more likely to follow through on your vision. And, and life is life is such a beautiful journey and adventure and gift. And there's so many opportunities. And so you're doing yourself a disservice if you aren't allowing yourself to dream, dream big, create a vision, a very beautiful vision for your life. Because if there's photos of it on the internet, I mean, now with AI, I don't know what's real and fake. But back then, if there was photos of it on the internet, it meant that it was possible for you because there's photo proof of it existing. Um, I'm going to still hold that to be true because... There's so many beautiful places and people in the world that you can explore, an opportunity that you can have, and an abundance of money and adventure and so on. So what you have uh, in your mind, in your heart, the visions that you have are possible for you or else you wouldn't have them. So allow yourself to dream big, create the vision, and then create a strong and compelling why. And then the last part of the My Signature Framework is action. You see how we're not taking action right away? We are taking action in a very um, slow, foundational way, but we're not actually going hard into the action because I believe that action is only last. Now that we've laid out the framework with the first audit and then vision, the very last step, the very last pillar of the framework is taking action. So once you know what you want and why you want it, then you have to figure out, okay, what are the steps I need to take in order to get there? And who do I need to ask for help or guidance or mentorship to get to the results? So if you, let's say you're 50 pounds overweight, you don't really know how to work out or eat healthy, and your goal is to lose 50 pounds, let's say in four months. I mean, if you ask for help from someone who's done it already or who helps other people do it already, then I think you'd really increase your chances of succeeding and reaching your goal and also keeping it off and having the support and accountability. I help people and families every single day declutter their homes. And then inside Worthy and Free, I help the women in there declutter and organize all areas of their lives, which is such a beautiful um, thing that I get to witness and be a part of every single day. And so for you, if you are choosing to embark on a journey of one area of your life to completely transform it, declutter it, and just maximize it in the best way possible, then who do you have to ask for help to get you there? Not everyone needs this extra help, but I believe that if you found this podcast, then perhaps you are someone who does need the guidance, accountability, and, and so on. And so if you are looking for someone specifically with weight loss, I would find someone to help you with that. If you're looking for someone to help you declutter and organize your home, you found your girl. Um, and if it's all areas of your life that you want to focus on, then perhaps you'd like to join Worthy and Free. 
we are launching again in September. So if you want to join the, the cart to join is currently not open um, because we are going through the first round with the ladies inside the group. But if you are interested, just stay tuned for future episodes when I mention the cart opening in um, probably around August. Or you can find a friend for accountability or whichever. There's so many different ways to reach your goal. But the thing is, when you have that accountability or someone to really guide you into taking the proper steps to get there, you're more likely to reach your goal and then have your your results last long term. And also give yourself compassion, give yourself time, give yourself grace. Know that, you know, there are going to be hard times. It's not a straight line going up to where you are to success like it's a very squiggly line that sometimes you're going to fall backwards and sometimes you're going to fall flat on your face or sometimes it's going to be really challenging and you're going to want to give up and you might temporarily give up and that is okay the fact of the matter is it's it's really what you do after that step of giving up or wanting to give up that matters and even if you do you know stop or slip up whatever that is it's it's only what you what you decide the meaning of it means to you you get to decide what your next step is an app that i find to be really helpful is pep talk if you are struggling with you know um that internal dialogue sometimes it's helpful just to have people giving you pep talks of you can do it and you know um keep going. And obviously I'm not a pep talk person, um, but there it's a very, very good app. I really enjoy it. And um, printing out a vision board and having it in your space that you look at every single day is really important. I host in-person vision board workshops at my home. I haven't been doing it the last um, couple of months just because I've really been focusing on the Worthy and Free program, um, but I will be doing it again in the fall. So stay tuned for that. But you can always make one on your own. Use Canva or just um, just print out photos and put it on a big old bristle board, whatever whatever works for you. But now that you know the the foundational work, this my signature framework, when you take this and you apply it to any area of your life, you're guaranteed to be successful when you do it in this way. And as long as you take the inspired action in the steps to get there. And if ever you need help, please reach out to me. I would love to assist you in this in, in whichever container or capacity that I can help you. Um, if you don't already do so, then come hang out with me on Instagram, screenshot this this episode and share it to your stories if you can and tag me at transform spaces it would mean the world to me and if you know of someone who's wanting to transform one or more areas of their lives then please send them this episode it might be helpful for them and just to quickly recap my signature framework for creating long lasting results and success in your life is number one do an audit of your life or that area that you want to change figure out where you are now and figure out how you got there Step number two in the framework is to create a vision for that area and for your life and then also a very strong compelling why. Why does that matter to you? Why is it important and what will happen if you don't get there? And number three is to take inspired action. Know what steps need to get need know what steps you need to get there and know who you need to ask for help to support you through this because you don't have to do it alone. There's no badge at the end of it to say, boop, I did this all on my own, which means that's the only way I could have succeeded. It's okay to ask for help. In fact, I encourage you to do that. I ask for help all the time in my life. I have many coaches in all areas that I want to succeed in because otherwise I can only do so much in my life on my own. And then after a certain point, I need to ask for help and I encourage you to do the same. So my friend, thank you so much for showing up for another episode of the Transform Your Life podcast. I will see you next week for another episode and I'm sending you so much love and gratitude. Until next time, bye.